Photon Plus and its RT Pro real-time signal analysis and waveform source software enables you to perform real-time FFT analysis while simultaneously recording gap-free raw time history data in the background to your PC's hard drive. The workflow to set up real-time signal analysis and waveform source is to first begin on the measurement panel within the measure area. The signals button allows you to specify the type of measurements you wish to acquire for each input channel of your Photon Plus connected to your transducers. If you wish to acquire waterfall measurements, you can enable them and define them using the waterfall button. Here you can specify to use either a time waterfall or an event waterfall. Moving on to the analysis area allows you to set up parameters such as the measurement frequency span, which is the highest frequency range of interest, as well as the lines parameter, which is the number of FFT lines to apply to your measurements. If you wish to instead work with time analysis parameters, then the points pull down allows you to set the size of your time block, and delta T allows you to set the sampling interval, which is related to the sampling rate used for your measurements. For general purpose measurements, you can use a Hanning window, or for sinusoidal type measurements, you can use a flat top window. The channel button is where you can specify what transducers you intend to connect to the Photon Plus. You can also switch the output channel of the Photon Plus to serve as TAC input for RPM related measurements. You can then set the required trigger for starting and stopping your measurements using the trigger button. Triggering the start of a measurement is possible by using an input channel, a time delay, or if the signal generator or source is enabled. Trigger for stop is used to specify conditions to automate when you wish to end measurements. The averaging method you wish to apply to your measurements can be defined using the average button. Linear, exponential, and peak hold averaging methods are available to choose from. Under setup menu, you will find measurement parameters Submenu, where you can open up Waveform Recording Setup dialog to enable the channels you wish to record raw time data for. Once you have defined all of the setup parameters required for your measurement, you can save the project to retain all desired settings. Then you can start the measurement. Once your measurement and recording are complete, you can export or save your measurements using the Signal Manager window, which is accessed directly from its icon on the toolbar, or from the Project menu by choosing Save Data. You can immediately send your measurement results to a Word document by simply clicking on the Quick Report W icon shown here. Now that you have recorded your data, you can convert it in order to import it into Reflex. The conversion is handled within the Recording View Windows View Signal File page. By using a right-click Save As command on each recording file, then choosing BNK Common Format. Note that the same conversion method is found in the Signal Manager by using the Recall page. Note that up to this point, we recorded data in the default native SIG format, but you can set up your project to record in BKC format instead. This can be achieved by specifying this within the Save Data dialog found in Setup, Preferences, Miscellaneous, LWR Save Notification, and here you can enable the Skip checkbox, then Open Settings. From here, you can switch to Pulse Reflex to import your BKC file by a simple drag and drop or by using a right click import file within Project Browser's project tree. Pulse Reflex can now be utilized for advanced post processing analysis and reporting of your Photon Plus recorded data. Mm -hmm.